I'm Melanie Flintoft. I'm the creative director and um, married to Dean. Dean Flintoff from Australian Fashion Labels. I'm the managing director and I've been working for, with Australian Fashion Labels for 10 years. When we started the business, we sold everything we owned. We sold our cars, we sold everything we could find. We took out a bunch of credit cards just to, to fund the business. And, uh, and then you combine that, not a huge amount of cash to start with, with a rapidly growing business, and then you know, cash is always. A good example of that was I was pregnant with our son, and he was due to be born in two months. We sold the car and we were thinking, I don't know how we're going to do this. Then we entered a competition, the Adelaide Fashion Festival, and we won a car for two years. <laughs> Solved. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The things you do, um, if you really want to make it happen, you, you do it, I guess. In the beginning, it was Finders Keepers and then created Cameo uh, by discovering a designer who we thought had so much talent um, and brought her into the business to start Cameo. Um, and that was more uh, contemporary forward. Finders was a bit more commercial, party and flirty, I guess. So she managed to capture a market that wasn't in the market, so she found a niche and we, we went with that. And then two years later, we really uh, identified a gap in the market for a dress brand. There wasn't anybody doing a really good dress brand, uh, dresses around $300 that were better quality than their price point, so we found another designer from the Adelaide uh, TAFE and uh, started Keepsake the label. And then we had an opportunity with our factory to create uh, the fifth label, which was an under 100 uh, more casual brand, which we didn't really cover with the other three brands, um, which was like a, a, a good opportunity. So we started that brand. And then uh, once we had the four brands, we found with all our photo shoots that we do every month, we uh, were using and outsourcing other people's footwear and Everyone wanted to know about the shoes and where can they get them and this sort of thing. So we started Jagger Footwear, which is our um, brand that now we pair back with all of the clothing and we collaborate with them to get the product that the designers want for their lookbooks. So it's, it's sort of how it all came about, I would say. Mm. And each yeah. brand still to this day serves a different purpose. And yeah. And it goes Having uh, five brands in the business and uh, making sure that they don't cannibalise each other and they all have their own aesthetic and um, branding to them. It, we, we strive for that and make sure that we're really careful about that. Um, with uh, so many designers in the building and making sure that they're aligned to their brand is, is key. 75% of our business now is overseas and uh, it, was a, it was really a volume strategy to start with. We had um, you know, we'd sort of grown our labels not as much as we could in Australia, but you know, we were struggling to get the volume to keep the factory happy uh, in Australia, and it was, um, which is why we initially went to the US to, to get more volume, and uh, it sort of grew from there. And uh, the US and China are, are key focuses for our business. Yeah, they're quite different, and uh, we made a lot of mistakes, certainly, at the beginning, and getting our, our sales and distribution strategy right. And uh, um, very happy with where it is now, um, but it was uh, quite a journey over a number of years to get that right. Getting the right sales teams, the right uh, distribution, and uh, logistics you know, team. Yeah, and initially trying to manage it from Australia um, remotely just it just didn't work. So we ended up having to set up a, a team, you know, and an office based in uh, Los Angeles. So. It's expensive being a woman, so making um, making that opportunity to be able to hire a new dress for the weekend, and you know we never wear anything twice. So it's um, I think yeah, it's a it's a disruptor for sure. And it gives garment longevity too, doesn't it? It's uh, you know, it gets worn by multiple people and over a longer period of time, rather than just you know someone might wear it once or twice and goes in the wardrobe and then doesn't see the light of day again. 